Yo guys, it's me Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords. We are here in the quarterfinals for VDL. We are running up against uh, Solonor, Chad, and we are bringing this team, Rotten Moon, Klefki, Glamora, Espeon, Sunny Shocks, and Coragonal. Um, we are up against a potential uh, Dondozo team. They do have a mirror match with the Sandy Shocks, and they do have um, some good supports in like Morgrom, which is a little bit worrisome for like uh, Thunder Wave pressures. Uh, I do worry that maybe he's uh, if he does bring Morgrom, it might be smart enough to like oh, outspeed my Clef King my Taunt. There is Sandy Shocks Mirror. There is Sarah Ledge, which is honestly one of the worst mons for me to face off against. But that's okay. Um, it's one of the worst ones for me to face, but it's not too bad. There is... I've got enough coverage for it, I believe. There is a Zoroark on the team, which can be super obnoxious. I do have Espeon here with um, Cobbleberry, so I can survive it. I do expect, like, possibly a Choice Scarf Zoroark, though. Could be running U-Turn, could be running um, some really annoying moves like knockoff um and stuff like that i know usually it's like a special set but in prep I'm, i've come to realize that the physical coverage it gets can be really annoying as well especially like moves like um and then utility moves like snarl we are running these sandy shocks with thunderbolt earth power terror blast and protect booster energy i imagine he will be running the exact same um type of thing it is a speed boost in nature Raw Moon has got the Terra Poison, Jaw Lock with Terra Blast, Terra Wind and Protect. Um, Terra Water on Sunny Shock so I can live at the Dondozer's attacks. Kragonal's got Freeze Dry and Icy Wind to try and keep some uh, pressure on the speed side of things. Um, as well as Freeze Drying into a lot of his monsters pretty well. And yeah, so I, I've got this Switcheroo Klefki set because Dondozer can be really annoying. Um, and it'd be nice to be able to talk this all out a little bit. I do expect like either a Lumberry clear amulet or something. Um, it could be unaware, it could be oblivious. I, it, it's hard to say. Um, I do think he sent me his pace, so I'll have a quick look at that. Um, and we'll see where we're up to a bit. Not his pace, his terror types. Okay, so we've got Terra Electric Dondozo, which isn't the best, isn't the best for me. Um, he has got the abilities on here, so I'm presuming that's an unaware Don Pozo. Could be wrong. Uh, Tatsuguri is Terra Water, so probably just uh, either Scarf or Sash. I know he's been leaning into like a Sash set Tatsuguri a lot this season. Morgrim could be running a disruptive set with um, Part and Shot or Thunder Wave, but it could also be running screens. I've got to be careful of like sucker punches from it and play roughs because if it does do decent damage into the Royal Moon, luckily I am Terra Poison. He does have the Terra Fairy Sandy Shocks, which is interesting to note. Uh, I do expect there to be like three coverages moves uh, on that, so that should have me running Terra Blast, Thunderbolt, and Earth Power. May probably protect as its last move. Zarwark is Terra Dark, so we're probably looking at like a Night Days slash Dark Pulse variant. Uh, maybe Scarf, maybe not. I, I feel like Zarwark being Scarf is really good into me. Um, and then we've got Toro Switch. Honestly, Terra Electric, that makes perfect sense. It will be Raging Bull uh, to try and remove screens, but probably running Wild Charge. And I would imagine it'd be running AV. Like, it's, it's quite easy to run Assault S into me. So, yeah, that's uh, my opponent's mons. These are my mons. Um, let's get into it. All right, so we're here against Chad Solonor. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I'm going to approach this. So, part of me is like, Espeon seems good. Glamora, I think, will be really good. I think Glamora is going to be really good. Especially Terra Grasmore. It seems pretty good into his team. Um, the fact that he hasn't got Serilege is relieving on one side. So, hopefully, we can do okay. He 
Yeah. Oh, it's the yellow one, so it is the speed variant. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would show up as different colours on here. So it's a fast uh, bondozer. Or at least it's one that wants speed boosting. Um, I don't either. Zorok on lead could be really annoying. I, I still feel like Espeon's the right call. It does well into pretty much all of them. Um, let me get his terrors. Yeah, like, it, it's only Morgan really that resists the Fairy Stab. Um, if it terrors, but he's not going to terror. Do I want to go Roaring Moon? I feel like Roaring Moon and Espeon's good. The more in the back, trying to avoid going for the terror if I can. Um, Sandy Shocks could be good as well. I, I like the Espeon because it stops him from being able to control me with like um, the Morgan I'm going for potential um, status into me. That, that, that's a good lead there, those two. So I, I want Sandy Shocks as a potential speed thing because they haven't got a way to outspeed me. If that's the case, other than Scarf Zoroark, so we'll try that in the Sunny Shock. So I might need to get Tailwind up. I don't know. I imagine it'd be quite a bulky Dundozo as well with speed. Might be split defenses. Okay. So that is the real one of you. <sighs> Gotta be careful about the. Uh... I feel like going for a dozen gleam is good here. But Grassnock could also be just as good. He's not going to swap out the um, booster energy though. That's the thing. Um, I don't live a Terra Fairy attack, so if I go for Grass Knot into you, I don't think that'll do enough. Let's go Dazzling Gleam and I'll protect Royal Moon for a turn. Okay, so yeah, that's the Zorlock. He didn't tear him. Hopefully Espeon survives this. Oh, a stealth rock set. But magic bounce, baby. I'm not gonna lie, that stealth rock's weird. I wouldn't have clicked stealth rock into an Espeon. It's good damage. Okay. Now, I know that's Choice Scarfed. I feel like bringing out Glamora to get the uh, Toxic Spikes up as well, whilst we're at it. If he goes for a knockoff into Espeon, and Espeon can do good late game if I need to. Do I just go for the Terra Poison attack now? He could go for Terra Fairy. Hard to say. Terra Blast will kill me, but I'm in a decent position. Alright, I'm going to just try and get the Tailwind off. If he terrors, I don't think it's a bad thing. An Earth Power here would be bad for me. Okay, okay, it knocks off Roaring Moon. Not what I wanted. Okay, Thunderbolt starts slot. Which is okay. Because we get the Tailwind off. This is fine at the moment. So we know Don Dozer's in the back. Um, we're just going to go for... I don't know if that's enough. Um, we know that thing's not going to knock off, so I'm not going to target Zorowak down. Because it outspared Espeon and Royal Moon. I think I target this thing down, and I think the best way of doing that is just going for an Energy Ball. And jaw locking it. I think that should kill, but then if it terror fairies, then it's not great, is it? This might not kill. 
might be better going for a sludge bomb. Okay, so he does he does swap out. But that dice is self rocks. So I'm not that worried. Good damage. Edge of ball should kill it. Don't know if I'm faster. Oh yeah, I'm faster. Okay, so Glim was faster than the I, I thought I'd put it faster than the Sandy Sharks. Okay, so he didn't tear a fairy there. Here's the actual bomb so Tatsugiri in. So we know Zoroark dies to Rock Chip. And if that's if Zoroark's Scarf, then he's likely going to be Sash on the Tatsugiri. Which would be really nice. Fully expect, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, enforcer, yeah, it's a turtle game. Um, so it's terror electric, hard to say what he'll do. He could go for an order up this turn. If he's running it, he could go for an earthquake as well. I feel like a spiky shield is fine, and just scout for the terror, because I still have a few turns of tailwind, one turn of tailwind. Uh... I don't think I need to scout with you. I think I can just attack. It's not going to do, do a lot of damage. Uh, I should have actually, because of. Yeah, because he's going to go for a order off, isn't he? And then he might outspeed my Grimora. Damn it, I should have protected. So I knew. Yeah, because this was a good idea for the spike shield. Well, it's not going to switch out anyway, so. Oh! He orders up into Glamora. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, Spike Shield doesn't do that type of damage. Um, I'm not really near power for a change. Kind of sucks. Alright, we're going to go for the Sludge Bomb. And I suppose here. I think if we're going to get fast. So this is the best that we can do. I can't move, I can't remove uh, my Roaring Moon. It's good damage, actually. Order up, yeah. Toxic Debris. Tailwind ends. Sandy Shocks should be faster. Tailwind has ended, so. But I think it's okay to go for an Earth Power into it and try and set up a Tailwind. But doing it like he's never going to go for a terror blast into this one, but he could go for something else. So we'll go for the terror water terror here and Tailwind. I think that's fine. Yeah, the Zora Rock is dead on the switching because of it, it, it's got poison on there and put the toxic spikes and the stealth rocks. And this is just in case he goes for like a wave crash. He could go for an order up. 
But I think I survive an order up. I'd like to think I survive an order up. If Roar Moon dies, I don't think it's too big an issue. So yeah. Oh, we do we do just outspeed, which is really nice. Okay, so that's really good to know. I outspeed a plus one um, Roar Moon. Uh, plus three. Thundoza. Yeah, Stealth Rock's <laughs> his own Stealth Rock's and killing his own Zarok. And then it's just Tatsugiri. Um, I suppose from here we just go for a Thunderbolt and Jaw Lock it. Did you game one? Espeon was really nice in the lead. I had a feeling that it was uh, the Zarwark. And he was never going to swap out the uh, Sunny Shocks there. So. We were having the Protosynthesis boost. Okay. Game one. Good. Stealth Rocks on Sunny Shocks, what the hell? That's so weird. I suppose maybe break sashes? I know I've got a bit of weakness to flying, but maybe it brings more room this time to try and slow things down. Maybe like screen support or maybe a fake out here or there. I don't know. Um, honestly, I'm liking Kraken on lead. Because I can Icy Wind pretty much everything except for the Scarf Zorok. And boost uh, Sandy Shocks shouldn't kill. So if those two lead again, then it's a little bit worrisome, but should be okay. Um, plus Stealth Rocks would be annoying if he gets the chip on the Sash first. I could run Roaring Moon up front and get some Tailwind, down, tailwind up, but like outside of that, I'm not really doing much Moon into this team. I feel like Roaring Moon could come on the back, actually. Uh, the Sunny Shocks was really good with the speed. That's the only problem. Um... I'm going to lead Espeon again. I want Sunny Shocks in the back. I'm going to bring them more, I think. No Roy Moon. No Tailwind. I think he leads Taurus. I think he leads Taurus. So we know it is Scarf Zarowak, which isn't surprising. We know that it's... I don't know what item is on Dozo. Don't know what item is on Tatsu. I assume Sash. There's no Stitches Berry proc, so... Okay, more room. On lead, actually. Mm-hmm. So I could pr double protect on this turn, just scout the fake out. I also scout for Zoroark this way on the Morgan, but it's going to be more. It's not going to be anything else. I knew we could get screens up, which would be kind of annoying. But I'm okay with that. He might be thinking I'm Scarf Cryagmall as well. That's something he has to consider. I wonder if that uh, Sunny Shocks has got Protect.
Yeah, so he does have fake out. And he's worried about cryo. Oof, splitting the damage there. So it is it is more fun. Okay. Um honestly I'm just gonna go for Icy Wind and go for a dazzling. Not much else I can really do on this turn. Gotta be careful to stuff a punch. I just want to slow that Sandy Shocks down a bit. I don't know how heavy Sandy Shocks is, so I don't know how much damage Grass Knock does. I don't want to commit Materia yet either. Okay, so Thunder Wave, yeah, Disruption. Kind of, uh, kind of annoying, but as long as Cryo hits this turn, I don't mind. I should take this. Yeah. Good Espeon, good Espeon. Spit out that one's kind of annoying. That's good damage into you, but it's a crit. Ah, that's kind of frustrating. Alright, so we're just going to go for a freeze dry into you and hope that it hits. Um, and protect Espeon for a turn because I don't think I can really switch in anything. No. Freeze dry should hit most other things he wants, he has in the back as well, so it's not like he has a super safe switch to it. You could tear a fairy, but... I think Cryo is safe from Morgrim. Maybe it's not from a play rough. Like a double up would be kind of bad into me there. I'm counting on a mon that's paralyzed to be able to move here, which is kind of bad. Okay, that's fine, if that's withdrawn. Yeah, okay, so Don Dozo, frustrating mon to face off against. If he attacks Espeon here, I'd be pretty, pretty happy. Nah. So he's broken my sash, which is kind of frustrating. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, full power is frustrating, to say the least. Um... I, I think it's fine to do that. I'm going to go for the Grass Knot into the agenda. Because <laughs> not, else I can, not else I can do. I, I, I lose SP on this turn. Uh, full powers, man. Kind of suck. Because I think I was in a decent position without the full powers. Oh, he's terroring as well. Yeah, Terra Electric, that's fair. I had speed control until I got full powered two times, <laughs> two turns in a row. I, unfortunately, Espeon wasn't going to be able to do anything there. I wonder if Cryo's still faster. Nope, and that's a dead Kragman. Yeah. Ah, oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> There goes my speed control. I am. Yeah. All right. So I've got to protect you this turn and go for the terror. Energy ball into the Sandy Shocks because the Shocks should be going for Sandy Shocks. But he could swap out into Tatsu, which would be annoying. Because he's, he's in a position now where he doesn't need the speed boost on, the, on it. You could also go for an order up. Okay.
Maybe, maybe we're okay. Switch out Dondo there. Yeah, yeah. That's good. We get rid of his. It's going to be a one versus uh, three in it. Do I survive a wave crash? Maybe. Maybe. I think I could survive an unboosted wave crash. Energy ball or sludge bomb? Energy ball or sludge bomb? No energy ball. Yeah, yeah, here comes Tatsu. I think I'm faster with Sandy Shocks. And we've seen Body Press and Terror Blast so far. Not Terror Blast, Body Press and Wave Crash? I, I just assume that there's Terra Blast in this. With it being Terra Electric, it's good for like Gyarados, isn't it, at the end of the day? So we do get a huge Earth Power off, which is nice. Not as much damage as I'd liked, but... Oh, it's Liquidation, not Wave Crash. I don't survive that, it's plus two. Two shot? Yeah, two shot, two shot. <sighs> we go for the energy ball. Tatsu in the end is going to be difficult. Especially if it's Sash. Morgroom will die to a sludge bomb. But I don't think I survive a Scarf Draco. I definitely have a chance if the uh, if I didn't get powered that first those first two turns. I meant Espeon end up going down without me wanting it to. I can't win from here. Because he's got Thunder Wave on this thing. Play rough as well. And I, I gotta go for a spiky shield here. I think the only way I can win is if somehow Sludge Bomb picks up the KO, and if there's a play rough or a sucker punch, that could be GG's. I mean, oh, Icy Wind. Oof. That probably kills. That probably kills. Honestly. Could miss, though. Could miss. Like just how close this this game's got, it just it to me it's just like yeah. If I if I didn't get double paralyzed at the start, I think I'd be okay. I, I don't survive an ice wind. Damn. Need a uh, ice wind miss there so you can stand the chance. It wasn't bad though. It wasn't bad.
It was annoying, but it wasn't bad. I'm not even feeling like I need the Klefki to win. I'm just going to fake out before I can do anything. Uh, body, body press, that's what we've seen. Body press. Liquidation. I don't know what else is on that set. Like, Espeon's good, but he knows the Espeon's good. And I think that's why it got tightened down a little bit. I kind of want to bring Sandy Sharks on lead instead this time. Sandy Sharks on Rune Moon on lead. Glamora Espeon in the back. Espeon can swap in, but these two aren't affected by Thunder Waves, which is nice. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. The Terra Electric makes sense as well because it only makes him weak to ground and annoyingly only my, my Sandy Shocks has got ground moves. And even then, you saw how little though that double up of like Earth Power plus the other moves did. Not that much. I'm bringing Brown Moon in the back to try and get a Tailwind off mid game. But if he gets the Don Dozo in. Before that, it's gonna be bad. Do I go for... There's a body potential body press coming out here. But there's a potential fake out as well. Do I read the fake out? I'm going to protect and try and get tailed off maybe. Because he's got, yeah, 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 yeah. Body presses into Moon. He didn't go for the fake out. Didn't go for the fake out. This is fine. This is fine. That's no, not fine. Fine, but he could also liquidation me. Into the other one. Does he Terran? No. He could order up. That's the other thing as well. Or maybe he doesn't have Terra Blast. I, mean, I haven't seen Protect from him yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body Press. I, I, I had a feeling that was coming. Okay, good, 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 good. This is fine. We could Thunderbolt, we could Earth Power. I feel like Earth Power gets us the net game that we need. Against this Don Dozo. Um, the fact that he didn't go forward is pretty good for us. Um, we go for a Earth Power into you. 
and we tear a blast just in case, so that we can swap out afterwards if needs to be. I think. Does he go for the terror here? I would, if I'm him. He's already taken the football. I would even, okay, that was bad on my, my part. We need to make the most out of these turns, you know. That man. Should've gone for a Thunderbolt. Should've gone for the Thunderbolt. I'm gonna bring an Espeon because I can Grass Knot. And hopefully he doesn't... Terror. Come on, I haven't shown I haven't shown a grass move. I haven't shown a grass move. You don't need to terror here. You want to save your terror. You want to save your terror. Shouldn't let Sam Shot go down as easy as that. Should have gone for a thunderbolt. Come on. A grass not plus my terror blast should kill. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, Grass Knot. <sighs> we might not, might not kill. Ah, oh, no! <sighs> Espeon, you beautiful thing. Living that. I, I think I should be able to Dazzling Gleam. And jewel up for the kill. Come on. I didn't mean to go for jewel. I meant to go for order. I meant to go for the poison move, but whatever. Roaring move should be fast inside Tailwind, and then D Gleam should do a lot to the Tatsugiri. Come on, Terror Blast, pick up the kill. Good, good, good. Thondos is down. Would have been down quicker, and I wouldn't have taken damage. That's really good damage into Tatsugiri, at the Tailwind ends. Uh, Morgrim is in the back, yep. But it could. Yeah, yeah, and you. Ah, Earth Power. Earth Power sucks here, doesn't it? Earth Power really, really sucks here. I don't think that's going to be enough. Gonna go for the dozen gleam. <sighs> Do I need War Moon Uncle Mora? War Moon Uncle Mora. <sighs> Alright, it doesn't gleam and we'll try and protect. <laughs> I, I don't think this is the right play. Don't think this is the right play. I think he attacks Espeon here, and I should have just gone for the double, or gone for a Tailwind. Should have gone for a Cyclic, truthfully. Okay, so he did just go for the Earth Power. Which makes perfect sense. Um, he's going to fake out Espeon this turn.
I don't think they're gonna get a Tailwind though. That's the only problem. Moon? Nah, no moon. No moon. I think I've left myself way too open to getting attacked by this thing now. I think I've kind of just got to go in for it, go as much as I can. Hopefully, he misreads. I protect. Because it isn't game me a lot. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That's game. Should have gone for the protect there. My only out was a double protect. Game two, I lost because of uh, the double paralysis. Game three, I lost because I left myself way open for the Terra Fairy Siren and shocks in the end game. And losing my Santa shocks right at the start. Shouldn't have led it. Oh well. That's us out this season. Uh, cheers for watching, guys. Till next time.